Hello everyone, my name is Xia Yixi. I am a PhD student in the Division of Sustainable Energy and Environmental Engineering of Osaka University. Today I am going to make a presentation based on my paper titled Development of an Urban Greenery Evaluation System Based on Deep Learning and Google Street View. My presentation will be divided into five parts as shown in the slide. The first section is introduction. About the background of my research, urban street greenery has long been recognized as critical landscape design elements in urban environments. Street greenery provides multiple benefits to urban environments, meeting diverse and overlapping goals. Therefore, understanding people's visualization of street greenery can help greening programs increase political support. Of course, there has some problem statements. Here we talk about two main problems. The first one is about measurement perspective. Multi-scale remote nascent has provided a new way to assist urban greening, which can measure the urban greening environment on a larger scale. However, this method does have apparent limitations as they are obtained from a bird's eye view, while the pedestrian's typical view of greenery is from the profile aspect. The second one is about measurement method. In the past research, mostly based on manually taken straight pictures and image processing software to extract the ratio of green pixels in straight pictures. However, this type of manual-based analysis can accurately carry out small-scale research, but due to the technical limitations of data connection and processing, it's difficult to meet the needs of planning practice which makes it difficult to promote application in practice. The second section is about the literature. First, I will introduce some researches about the green index measuring methods, the most common method for measuring people's attitudes and perceptions of street level profile views of urban greenery include survey, interview, and audits. However, both these methods are time-consuming and error-prone, especially in a large-scale area of urban is complex. Therefore, remote sensing seems to be the most commonly used objective method for measuring urban greenery. Then, in order to better assist the urban greenery at the street level, Young et al. propose to use color pictures to evaluate the visibility of surrounding urban forests as representative of pedestrians' view of urban uh, greenery through developing a green view. In Second are some researches about using street view images in urban studies. Google Street View, as we know, is commonly used street view images. And with the enrichment of street view image resources, and in addition to releasing street view map service for user browsing, many street view mapping service providers like Google, Tencent, and Baidu have released application program interfaces for developers to customize web applications. And by using that, we can download street view pictures in badges. And the pictures shown below is an example of Google Street View static API. In the field of urban planning, more and more researchers have used street view images as a tool to audit the urban environment and various environmental elements. However, most of the current work still based on manual observation of street view images. And at the same time, with the development of computer science and image recognition technology, computer image technology that can automatically recognize pictures and extract sufficient information has become more and more mature. The combination of straight view images and computer image technology in urban planning can not only solve the time-consuming problems of traditional research methods, but also help urban planners to audit our city from a new perspective. The third part is some researches about using Greenville Index to assist the urban greenery. In 1981, the National Institute of Environmental Studies of Japan proposed the quantitative statistical analysis methods to identify the essential sources of stimulation that affect specific psychological changes and to identify environmental green areas. Then a researcher of the institute officially proposed the concept of green visible value, which means the percentage of green in the human field of vision. And in 2009, Yang and O further defined a green view index to evaluate the visibility of urban greenery, which was defined as the ratio of the total green area from four pictures taken at a street intersection to the entire area of the four pictures. And the third part is proposed method. 
depends on the literature review and background before. The objective of this research is to develop a new method that automatically calculates the green view index from street view images. And the main contribution of this paper is to propose a method that can calculate the green view index from street view images with a high detection accuracy that can assist the urban street level greenery. And in the next part, I will explain the method we proposed. The proposed method of this research includes three steps. The first step is carrying street view images from Google Maps. Google Maps and Google Earth Center offer several types of APIs that allow users to carry static images, and the requirements is shown in the table which include in the image size, location, or location ID, horizontal and vertical angles, and the developer's key. Import the street sample point coordinates data obtained from OpenStreetMap as shown in the table 2 to carry images of different vert uh, vertical viewing angles of each side. And then when process the capture, the street view image of each point into a panoramic street view image and adjust the size of each panoramic images for later input. The second step is GSV image segmentation based on deep learning. With the development of artificial intelligence technology, deep learning performed well for image recognition tasks. In this research, we use a protrain Deep Lab with remodel to segment the GSV images into common landscape objects. By entering a straight view image into a pre-trained Deep Lab with remodel, we can obtain semantically segmented images, including vegetation, sky, buildings, and so on, that have been identified as shown in Figure 5. The third step is GVI value calculation based on GSV images. Young et al. defined a green view index to evaluate the visibility of green urban greenery, which was defined as a ratio of the total green area from four pictures taken at a straight intersection in, uh, to the entire area of the four pictures using the following equation. And in our research, we propose to use panoramic straight view images to calculate the index for each sample site, and we modified the calculation equation as shown below. The fourth section is about validation and result. This picture shows the semantic segmentation result of four GSV images based on our proposed method. The first column is the original straight view images, and the second column shows the result of the manually extracted vegetation through Adobe Photoshop software, and the third column shows the semantic segmentation results. The last column shows the GVI value of the sampling size calculated based on equation two, and from the results we can find most of the vegetation pixels in the GSV images were correctly delighted in the pre-classified image. And based on the semantic segmentation results, we can automatically get the proportion of the images of the 19 categories shown in the table 3, including roads, buildings, vegetation, sky, cars, pedestrians, and the second part of validation and results is about GVI accuracy verification. To further verify the accuracy of the semantic segmentation, we randomly select 100 points to compare the results of the GVI value calculated by menu with that calculated by our proposed method using linear regression. From the result, we can find that the GVI values are distributed near the 1 to 1 line and the regression coefficient up to 0 0.98, which indicates that the GVI values calculated using the two different methods was quite similar. And the last part is conclusion and future. GSV images provided by Google, which had view angles similar to that of pedestrians on the street, were proposed to assist urban street greenery. From our research, using GSV images to assist visible street greenery based on deep learning is a flexible and effective method. Compared to the traditional method for assisting visible street greenery in cities, the whole process is automated and does not re require excessive human intervention. The urban greening evaluation system proposed by our research can help urban planners and managers better understand the impact of urban streetscapes on urban environmental perception. 
However, there still has some restriction concerns urging to be resolved. The first one is the accuracy of the image semantic segmentation could be further improved. And the second one is the acquisition time of GS2 images does not agree. That straight view images connected in batches may be taken in different seasons. But with the development of UAV technology and gradually applied to urban research, in the future research we can combine the UAV system to detect and monitor the dynamic changes of street cleaning for urban landscape planning research. And that's all of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.